Hey everyone, I am back to update my weight loss vlog. I um, am on day 8 of the diet. However, just to let you guys know, I'm sorry if I look like I don't feel that great. Um, I've been kind of under the weather with a bit of a stomach bug um, yesterday and today. So, <coughs> I did um, actually consult with my trainer Mark and ask him what I could do because I've had... Um, some like throwing up and not feeling good and I know that there is something going around so I'm hoping that I can get back to 100% um, by tomorrow uh, so I'm actually um, taking these two days off and I'm going to be um, making them up on the weekend so that's just the way that I'm going to be making up for the days that I missed as far as following the um, specific um, meal plan um, let me see, other than having the little bit of a stomach bug, um, I've been doing great on the um, cleansing diet. Just as an update on um, my weight loss, um, I guess, progress. Um, after the first week, I did weigh myself and I am down a total of 4.6 pounds. So that's close to 5 pounds in one week. Um, I'm saying or thinking if I keep up this momentum as far as staying on track and um, really doing what I'm supposed to with it that I should be down close to 25 almost 30 pounds by the end of this entire cleanse so that's just a really cool thing um, I'm very satisfied already seeing results um, I am also wanting to um, give a big high five there it is to all of you ladies or gentlemen out there that have actually joined and are doing this diet with me and also all of you that are um, sharing all your comments and leaving me great um, feedback on my Facebook as well as on my videos that you guys are really enjoying this series so I'm really glad that I can inspire people out there um, I can already tell that I've lost a little bit of weight just from starting um, in certain ways I feel like it's supposed to make you more lean, so I am seeing things with my clothes. Um, my pants are fitting a little bit better already, which is great. So um, I wanted to kind of touch base on a few things. Um, I will be talking to you guys in my next video and actually showing you guys my entire um, workout routine or at least kind of walking you through the different um workout uh, I guess things that I'm doing in my full body workout that my trainer gave me so do stay tuned for that video but I did want to talk in this um, one about uh, running I have gotten quite a few um, emails and um, comments that people want to know the secret to um, keeping their endurance up and being able to run for a longer period of time as well as for a longer distance so basically the way that I started running let me tell you right now I am in no way an athletic person I didn't play sports growing up I probably wish I would have but I did not um, <clears throat> in junior high I ain't even gonna lie, my miles were probably like 35, 40 minutes. We walked the mile, we took our time, we hung out, we chilled, we like talked crap, we didn't care about running the mile in a good time. Um, when I did start losing weight, probably about five years ago, I kind of got on to where I wanted to lose weight. Um, you know how you go through those phases and stuff. And I ended up um, starting to run with some friends at the track in my area. And the way that I kind of built myself up was I would go to the track, and this is a good way to start as well because sometimes you don't want to go running on the street or you don't want people staring at you or whatever it might be because at first when I started running, I was not comfortable to be running on the street. I was like, people are going to be staring at me. They're probably going to be like saying things. I was just very self-conscious at that time. So I didn't think I was going to be able to go out in public and run, you know, on the road. So I would go to the track, and what I would do is... Is I would actually run the straight part of the track and then I would walk the curve and then run the straight part and then walk the curve and I would do that for like two laps and then walk the other two laps and then eventually I would start to add in another lap and another lap or eventually running the entire track so that was one way that I kind of started to build my way up um, one big thing that I'm gonna let you guys know that if you are gonna be running it is a lot of strain on your body 
a lot of people love to do it, but it does take a toll over time. Um, people have knee issues, ankle problems, feet problems, stuff like that. I have had a foot problem in the past. It's better now, but I love to run and I will continue to run because it's just a great um, exercise that I feel as far as cardio goes. So... Um, one more important thing is um, your breathing. Having your breathing down is key. Um, I can't even say this enough. If you do not breathe right when you're running, you are going to get fatigued. You're going to get um, drained. You're going to be tired very, very fast. You're not going to be able to run as long as you'd like to or as far as you'd like to. <clears throat> Excuse me, this freaking frog. Dang it. I feel like <clears throat> Kermit just like jumped down my throat or something. I'm um, sorry, but... Anywho, the um, key for breathing is in through the nose, out through the mouth, like that. So when you're actually running, you want to be going, because when you breathe through your mouth, you get dry mouth, you are going to need water, and it also gets you tired quicker. So I definitely recommend if you guys are going to be running, try out the breathing. It really works, and it does take time to get down. Um... It's nothing that you're going to get right away, so do keep on practicing it when you're running. Um, the other thing, if you're a treadmill person, go into the gym and build your um, endurance up that way by getting on. And I've um, also recommended to a couple of my friends here that are working out. Um, one of my friends, Malia, she's amazing, and I'm so proud of her. She's lost 20 pounds, and she's still on her weight loss journey. And she's been running and working out at our company gym here. Um, Audra's been working out with our trainer, my um, friend Sam, and a couple other of my coworkers. We do love working out with the trainer. He really kicks our butt. So, but on the treadmill, I um, was getting questions from my coworkers when they would see me running here. Um, how do you last so long? Like, how do you keep going? Like, you run so long and stuff like that. And I told them I see a lot of them running at like a five or a six level as far as the speed of the treadmill. I don't run that fast unless I'm really trying to like do a sprint in between all my runs, which I will do sometimes. Like if I'm nearing the end of my three miles, I'll put it up to a five and a half and just book it. And so that way I can finish quicker. But I keep mine at a 4.2. 4.2 to 4.4, whichever is better for you, or even a four. If you've ever seen somebody that does boxing or that is um, an MMA fighter or does martial arts, if you've seen them running down the street, they're not running like a marathon runner. They're actually barely moving back and forth like this. I mean, they're going as slow as possible and working up an amazing sweat. So if you get on the treadmill, try it at a 4.2, go for about two minutes and then walk two minutes. Go for a minute, walk two minutes. This is the way that you're going to eventually build yourself up to be able to run. Right now, I'm actually running about four miles, two to four miles um, when I do run. Um, I've been really trying to get closer to four miles being on this diet and with my birthday being next Tuesday. <laughs> I'm like wanting to look good for going out with my friends next week. Um, so I would say do that and um, stay hydrated. Make sure you have water. And um, if you're going to be doing a um, like trainer workout or a full body workout, just so you know, to get the best results, what you want to do and what I do when I do my full body workout is I run to warm up, which is about 10 to 15 minutes, most likely 10 because I just want to get my body going and my, you know, my heart up and stuff like that. And then I go and I do my full body workout that my trainer gave me. And that takes me doing it three times through with all of the exercises that are on the list. It takes me about, I would say, close to 20 to 25 minutes. And um, then I go back and I get on the treadmill and I run for another 25 to 35 minutes. And that, um, from the trainer, he told me that that's the way you're going to see the best results if you're including strength training into your workout with your cardio. Um, what else? Get an iPod. I love my Nano for running and for walking or just working out. I did have a shuffle for quite a while and that worked just as well. But I recommend if you are a runner and you do like... Um, you know, listening to your music and stuff and also being able to track your progress. There's an awesome app on the new iPad Nanos and it's, I'm sorry, iPad Nano, the iPod Nano. And I'm thinking of the iPad because I want an iPad 3 for my, or the new iPad. Don't know if it's a 3, 2S, whatever it's going to be. I want that for my birthday. So that's why it's on my brain. But anyways, they have a really cool app called Nike Plus. And what's really cool about it is you can actually set it and it plays music throughout the workout. And when you touch your um, Nano, it updates you on how 
how many calories you've burned, your distance, how um, fast you're running a mile in, um, how long and how far you've gone so far. And um, it also will do like um, timed runs. It does um, distance runs. It's really, really a great program. And then what's cool is you can hook it up to your laptop or your computer and it actually updates it into the Nike Plus um website and you can track things and try um different i guess like um they have different like things going on where people create things like run so many miles in the month of february or something like that so it's a really awesome thing to do um or have as a program so i do really like my ipad nano i use it constantly um as far as running that's pretty much it and um i was gonna also talk to you guys a little bit about where to get good workout clothes i know that a lot of people will go and spend a crap load of money they're going and buying like puma and fila and adidas stuff and you're sweating okay um there's no need it's not a fashion show when you're working out it's not um something that you need to go and be looking like your best for the red carpet going into the gym. So I wanted just to recommend a few places to find great workout um, clothes as well as some um, equipment stuff that you can use at home. My um, first place that I started buying my workout clothes was at Ross, of course. It's my favorite place. So I did find a lot of my Everlast stuff there. They do have workout pants and stuff. You just have to look around. Um, so that's another really cool place to go, or that's one good place to go. Um, the next place that I started finding stuff was at TJ Maxx. I haven't bought any workout gear as far as clothes there, but I did buy quite a few of my, um, I guess, workout equipment there. I have a ball to work out on at home. I have picked up um, a jump rope. I also got um, my girlfriend some um, kettlebells that she uses at her house. I um, picked up a couple of weights and I've also bought weights at Walmart where I'm going to tell you next is my favorite place to shop for workout clothes and um, accessories. Danskin is an amazing line for working out um, attire. It um, is breathable. It's comfortable. They have very um, great array of sizes, even up to um, larger sizes like 2X, 3X, 4Xs. And they are the most affordable that I've found. And Walmart, you can't beat their prices. Um, I have about... I want to say like seven Dan skin tops so that way I can, you know, have, I can wear one like two days and then throw it in the hamper and then switch it out for a new one because I work out quite a bit. So I'm not trying to wear the same stinky clothes the whole week through. I like to have a switch up of my colors and things like that. So I have a couple tank top style ones. They have um, full t-shirt ones. They even have matching sets that have the pants that fit. Um, they have um, jackets to wear for when you're working out, like thinner. They have pants. And the one thing that I absolutely love that I've bought in there was my Dan Skin um, bra to work out with. I know that a lot of girls wear sports bras. I was wearing a sports bra with a bra under it as it was like an old bra that I didn't use anymore that I could just wear for working out. But um, I don't know, it just didn't support me as good as like a bra would. So I'm not one to just be having my, you know, boobs flopping around while I run if that's your thing more power to you um but yeah they have awesome bras they have ones with like a tea back um they have ones that look like a regular bra which is the one that i have and i want to say that the bras their range i think they're about like ten dollars that's not bad and you will see a difference in these bras they're breathable the it's got mesh on the sides it's just very very comfortable to wear while working out so um again i just wanted to come and talk to you guys again about my update on my um cleansing diet, how I'm doing, what's going on. Um, I am sick as I told you guys so I wanted to tell you guys what I was doing to kind of work around that problem that I'm having as far as being sick and not being able to eat. Um, let me see what else and then I wanted to talk to you guys about running and working out clothes and where to buy um, accessories. So um, I guess that's going to be it. I will be updating this vlog in another couple of days. I'm going to try to do it at least every um, four to five days and give you guys an update on how I'm feeling and stuff. So in my next video I will give you an update on my weight loss and also how I'm feeling on the cleanse starting on my second week or ending my second week I might say. 
and um, also I will be sharing my full body workout routine in the next one as well. So I really hope that you guys all enjoy this and please, please do um, rate, comment, and subscribe and also um, add me on Facebook. My links and everything are down below on Twitter and do um, let me know if you're doing the diet, how you're doing, your progress. Um, send me a video response if you like or um, just share a comment with me on my Facebook. I'd really, really like to know how you guys are doing and if you guys have any problems, let me know and like I said, as soon as I can I do answer all the questions that are left or comments so um yeah I will see you guys on the next video talk to you soon bye okay so there was one thing that I forgot to talk to you guys about so I figured when I got home I would go ahead and do an additional filming for my weight loss vlog for today um I wanted to come and talk to you guys all about the infamous protein shake um I wanted to kind of tell you guys my thoughts and um how I am enjoying them so much and I didn't think I was going to. Um, so just so you guys know, I purchased this at a um, NutriShop. That is actually the name. It's called NutriShop. I will leave a link down below so you can search in your area to see if they do have a location close by. I picked this up for $51.00. It has um, 40 to 45 scoops, which is the servings, um, and that's probably about a good three weeks if you're eating it three times a day. I did um, get the new tech. It is N-U-T-E-K Pro 5, and I chose the chocolate flavor. And just so you guys know, I do not drink this with milk. That's what a lot of the questions have been. Um, I'm drinking this with straight water. I take one scoop, I put it in my little mixer bottle, I shake it up, and I down it. And it does taste to me like a Yoohoo. And I like chocolate milk, I like Yoohoo's. So um, I really, really enjoyed this one very much. Um, I heard from my friend Sam at work that's doing it as well that when she went the guy told her that they had just got back some stuff in stock and they actually have one that is like Andy's mint flavor and I am an Andy's mint addict since I was little my mom used to get those for me and I love going to Olive Garden and getting them at the end of my meal because they're so delicious so I might actually get that one on my next um, one after I finish this so um, let me just tell you a little bit about the shake again I've been taking this three times a day per the cleansing diet um, menu I also have been doing this on the weekends in between my meals just to keep um, me satisfied and to stay very good on my calorie counting on the weekends so that's just um, a quick little thing about that and I did get this from NutriShop there's the actual name right there NutriShop um, and this I got free with this they threw it in for me so um, what I do is I get my scoop I take it all the way to the top and it says you can do one or two I've been sticking to one that's definitely enough and if you take some to work with you and you're um, don't have an extra scooper what I've been doing is once you throw a scoop in there it is like right below four ounces I know you guys can't see the ounce thing on there but it's right below the four ounce line so if you were to take some in a bag which is what I've done I just go ahead and I get um, a spoon and I spoon it in to here till it reaches that point and then I throw in 12 ounces of water it says that you can do six to twelve six ounces is kind of um, low six ounces would only be like right here twelve ounces is up here and with that much protein powder you want to have a lot of water because if not it's gonna be very thick I like it with the 12 ounces of water so just wanted to give you guys some of the ideas and things that I'm doing with it and how I'm drinking my shakes um, I'm doing them in the morning and afternoon and then at night before bed so I take them about 9 30 um, 2 30 and then right before bed at about 9 30 ish so that's how I am taking them it tastes delicious I really thought that I was not gonna like the protein shake at all I was like mm, I don't know about this dude so um, was really 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 happy with this and um, my trainer also um, can get us some that are $45, but I'm probably going to just go back to the place right here and get it because I kind of want to try the Andy's Mint one, so I know. But, I mean, hey, if I can't eat any chocolate or bad food, I might as well go ahead and um, get something that's good for me and tastes good that I like. So that is just a little bit about the protein shake because I was getting... Um, kind of a lot of questions about that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to stand up and just show you guys how I'm looking at this point. Um, so you guys can kind of see just from a week. It's kind of a different, sorry, if I'm flashing my booty. I'm going to go ahead and step back here. But, oh, let me take my badge off. But as you guys can see, I definitely can see, like, a big difference already, like, in my waist and stuff. 
Like, I feel like lean, and then my pants, these are the same ones that I had on the other day, and I'm already seeing that I'm getting a little bit of, like, bagginess in the front. And these are not um, stretchy at the waist. They're only, you know, stretchy down here as far as the jean material. So, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'm already seeing, like, crazy results after a week. So, um, if you guys are on this, we're going to be looking fabulous after the six weeks. That's all I can say. So, okay, I had to kind of throw that into the video because I didn't talk about it earlier. So, yeah, there's everything that you guys need to know about how I am taking my protein shake and how I am loving it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.